And so here we are as we prepare for our final pre-season, pre-World Cup friendly against Denmark. Lining up our traditional 4-4-2, Korea did look to be positive from the start. Creating chances but Schmeichel doing well to smother In a poor, poor start for the Koreans. As you can see here, Hoiberg's corner is right into the middle. Ki Sung Young did defend the set piece well. But Sisto's ball and Dolberg's movement was enough to fill the Korean defence. Dolberg then continued to cause problems, feeding in Christensen, playing in himself, forcing Lee Young to make a for scrambled clearance. Again, Denmark put the pressure on. And Pioni Sisto's ball into the middle found Nikolai Jorgensen. And after 25 minutes, Denmark found themselves 2-0 up. And Korea found themselves wondering what it is they could do to deal with Denmark's problems. Especially caused by that fabulous number 9, Kasper Dolberg. Moving further on into the game, a free kick found Wang Min Son on the right. His movement inside found opposite winger Hong Cho. Chol then was able to play a ball into the box, but again Schmeichel dominated his area, keeping the Koreans out and preventing him from finding a chance forward. The injured Christian Eriksen then was able to find in Dahlberg from a long ball Schmeichel, but goalkeeper stood strong for Korea, stopping a 3-0 lead there. Vasa's corner though was scrambled into the box, missed by the Koreans, but Shin Hyung Min found cleared. Finding Kim Shin Wook on an attacking sense, but again Eriksen dealt with the pressure well. Lee Young, who's having a poor game, managed to put the ball in, into Swang Min Son from a call up from a throw in. And then out on the left hand side, Hong Chul, a natural left back, was able to put away his first goal for Korea with a fabulous volley, leaving it 2 1 at half time. After the break, then Korea did look to up the pressure. But unfortunately, an injury to Lee Jong Ho prevented any early attempts in the second half. Again, a bit of scramble to play forward, and again, introductions of players such as Lasse Shun did cause problems for the Koreans. However, on the break, they did look capable. However, the 4 4 2 formation was showing obvious signs of rustiness for the Koreans, who struggled to adapt to the system and make the most against this resolute Denmark side. Dolberg again found space to feed in, but unfortunately for Denmark, Korea were able to do, deal with any instance there. Huang Min Son's ball then, however, was bundled away by Huang Hee Chan, and South Korea had recovered from that 2 0 first half deficit, all coming from that misplaced Jorgensen pass on the wing. Son, who did move up front, played a great ball into his strike partner, and Huang Hee Chan struck it on the volley. Right past Michael, giving the keeper no chance. Denmark did continue to threaten, however, and especially from corners and set pieces where the Koreans struggled to deal with their physicality. In an attacking sense, Korea did show promise. The introduction of Huang Hee Chan did give the team an extra dimension up front, however, he did find himself isolated at times, especially with the roaming Huang beside him. Pioni Sisto was a constant threat from the wing. And again, Kaspar Dahlberg always was instrumental in all attacking movements, finding Jakob Bruin Larsen in the 75th minute to give the Danes another league goal, putting them 3 2 up after that strong comeback by Korea. The movement of Larsen fooling Korea's right back all ends up and giving him no chance. In the end, it was a 3 2 win for Denmark, but I suppose Korea could be proud of the performance they did put in. Next up for them is an opening World Cup game against Spain.